Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Not a bad day. 49 degrees. It's around 10 a.m. Wind is at 8 miles an hour. It's not bad at all. It's like a heat wave compared to what I've been waking up to the last few mornings. Waiting for this car on my left to hopefully one day pass me. So I can stop going 28 miles an hour in a 40. <laughs> a truck. So I was asked to check out churches in Rockport. And there's a lot of churches in Rockport. So I asked, is there a type of church that you were interested in? And they said Lutheran. So I googled and I believe there is only one Lutheran church in Rockport. And I could be wrong about that. I often am. So I'm heading over to Holy Cross Church. And I'm going to take the main roads to get there. In case you're looking for it, it'll just give you a general idea of how to get there. I just shut the heater off because it is toasty in my truck right now. So I will tread very lightly and I googled religious jokes. And this is from, uh, so, so right away I'm sure people are offended. That's okay. <laughs> what I, I got these from a site called 25 jokes you could tell in church and I'm thinking my church doesn't let me tell any jokes <laughs> that's why I got a YouTube channel what was Moses's what Moses's what was Moses wife's nickname the hostess with the Moses. Yep. Yep. And then, of course, um, what uh, what did pirates call Noah's ship? The Ark. And then there were some that really weren't fitting for church. <laughs> some are uh, more. You have to have a little, a little, a little biblical understanding to get a lot of the jokes. Like, where do you park your car when you go to church? In the lot, you know. Yeah, you had to have read the book at some point in your life. <laughs> but I'm taking 35. And then I'm going to uh, make a left up here on the light on the street that I uh, lived on twice. And I don't know the, the name of it. Is it, uh, is it... Is it 1702? I know it's an FM. It's Broadway once it hits Fulton. We just came over into Fulton, Texas right now. At least on this part of the highway. See the sign? It says Broadway. If you make a right, bring your right down to the water where uh, Warm Daddies is and Bench Warmers and Moon Dogs. But we're going to go right to the Lutheran Church. Yeah, I, I lived on this road twice. So I lived on this road for five years and I can't remember the name of it. There's a Motel 6 there. I stayed there twice. Not bad. I mean, it's a Motel 6, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. I got that morning golf ball in my throat. Hopefully the coffee will dissolve it. I do have a nice hot cup of black coffee. I did not see a sign. Did you guys tell you what this road is? I know it's an FM. So I lived right over there in that shack that is blue and white now. And that was an awesome place to live. 
that was an office that I put a bed in and then eventually we added a bathtub and I lived in those apartments right there Bentwater for two years and that had its good points and bad points I had a pool there that I loved I don't know if there was any day that I couldn't have went to the pool that I didn't Let's, I mean I remember being in the water on Christmas Day one year and uh, it was really nice to go there and I love the pool sometimes I would even take lunch from work and uh, go to the pool I was a tan little boy back then 3036 says West 3036. That sounds about right. So the apartments I lived at were 1702 FM 3036. And even though I haven't lived there in five years, I still have checks. My uh, checks are still have that address on it. I didn't know I was going to wind up in life only writing one check a month. And that's my truck payment. So th this church is just around the corner here, and uh, we did the two RV parks across the street from it. So what is this? Is this 17 something here? Is this 1721? 1781, okay. 1781 goes to the left. So that is Holy Cross Lutheran Church right there. And I believe it used to be a Kingdom Hall. No, the Kingdom Hall was next to it. See, it looks like they're just a, maybe getting ready for church services. But I think, was that the Kingdom Hall? No, this building right here was the Kingdom Hall, I believe, years ago. A Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall. And they have signage out front says 53 degrees 1002 a.m. so I wasn't too far off with my estimates peace and blessings services Sunday at 1030 okay so we're just before services our mission God's work through you you are invited well that's nice please visit website for updates hclcrockporttexas.com and I'll try to put um, a link to that website in the description with their address. But a very nice looking building. It looks like it has some stained glass in the front there. Four little windows. Very nice. I like it. And uh, there's the famous biblical lot that we were talking about. So, very inviting. They have the door opened. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like a nice church. There's some people going to church. So, maybe uh, 20 cars are on the side. Prayer garden, welcome. There's a prayer garden? Well, I think, I think we might want to go see that, huh? Maybe we want to come back when there's not services going on. So we are not rousing suspicion of uh, being around a church parking lot with, uh, you know, recording. Because you see all the sick stuff on the news, terrorist bombings and hate crimes against churches. But we got to get used. To, oh, that is a nice little garden over there. Look at that, guys. I'm sorry about that wire. That's my microphone. That is a nice little garden, isn't it? So that's a crack in the windshield. That's a wire. It's like a little path, and it has three benches, four benches. That is nice. Maybe we'll try to come here, guys, when uh, services aren't going on and get a really better look at that. Someone remind me of that, if you don't mind. Prayer garden, welcome, peace. And then it has some literature in the box there. That's actually very nice. I like it. 
Okay, let's leave these people in peace today. Oh, lots of little stained glass windows on the side. Very nice. And they got a tractor. They cut their own grass. I like that. I like that. Saves money, right? Hmm. I like that church. Nice and simple. Let's, um... I think I was... Let's, let's go out the exit this time. Holy Cross Lutheran Church. Crack in the windshield. Microphone cable. And uh, I know it was a regular that asked me to come check this out. But I'm drawing a blank right now. But that is a nice little church. I like the prayer garden. And uh, I'll try to put the description and the address in... I will put the website and address in the description. All right, guys. Thanks for riding along today. Uh, whoever requested that, thank you. Gave me something to do while I enjoyed my coffee this morning. Thanks for watching. And guys, right here on Market Street, oh, maybe two blocks from the Dollar General, is the Peace... Lutheran Church and when I looked on Google this did not come up but when I looked on Apple Maps this came up so it's nice you have your choices of Lutheran churches very nice stained glass window and it is Sunday I know this isn't the best time oh look at that that's real pretty there oh wow look at that bell That is a really cool looking bell. So Peace Lutheran Church, also right here in Rockport, right about where Market Street meets uh, the bypass on 35. Peace Lutheran Church, sorry about the crack in the windshield. Sunday school, 9.45 a.m. worship at 11 a.m. Pastor David Burquist. Very nice. And I will also look and see if they have a uh, website and put their address in the description. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Let me throw this in while we're here. It is directly next to Larry's Paint and Body. There you go. Across the street from the old roller rink. 